Okay, so I'm out of breadcrumbs, so I decided to make my own. You can easily make them from plain white bread. There's two ways to do it, and here's how. Let's dig into it. And the first way is to grill your bread in the oven first, make it a little bit crispy, and then grate it later. Now you can use any type of white bread for this. It doesn't have to be square ones. Just put them on a baking sheet and then put them in the oven. Now you want to bake the white bread for around 12 minutes in total, but you'll have to flip them over about halfway through. Then just put them back in the oven for the remainder of the 12 minutes. Now you want to check if the center is not soggy in the middle, uh, but crispy throughout. Because you want to grate this bread and it won't be that easy if it's not crispy all the way through. After you're done, take them out and cut off the crusts. You won't be needing these. I'll show you in a minute how much this is. This is four pieces of white bread and how much of panko you can get out of this. Now get out a grater with small holes. You can use any grater for this. And pick up one of the pieces of the bread. And start scraping off the crispy exterior of the bread. Okay, so the middle of my bread is still a bit soggy. So I'm going to put it back in the oven for a few minutes more. Then just pick up your bread again and start scraping away at the crispy bits. You can see that quite a bit comes off. And we'll do the other pieces of bread as well. You see it's quite a bit of work getting all these pieces of bread through the uh, grater. But it's getting to be quite a nice batch of panko already. Now after you've grated all of your pieces of bread, this is the panko you're left with. Now the second way is a lot easier to make, uh, but you have to have a food processor. Just put in the grater blade of your food processor and start cutting off the crusts of your bread right away. So don't put it in the oven first. Then take the pieces of bread and cut them all in half so they will fit into the food processor. Then take your pieces of bread and put them in the processor. You can add them all one by one. Then turn it off, open it up and you have your shredded white bread. Then you can add these to a baking sheet and to the oven. Now you want to put these in the oven for around 8 minutes because they're smaller just than the whole white bread slices. And take them out of the oven and stir them around for about 3 times during this process. Then pick up the panko and add it to a container. So let's compare the two. On the one hand, on the right side, we've got the panko from the food processor. And on the left side, we've got the panko from the hand grater. And the panko from the hand grater will be a bit more finely grated. And it's better to use the panko from the food processor in your recipes because it's a bit lighter and fluffier. And that's ultimately what you want in your, let's say, tempura mixes. Now you can store these in a resealable container in your cupboard or in your pantry for a few weeks. If you want it to last longer, you can also put the panko in a freezing bag, a Ziploc bag, and then put it in the freezer for, for a couple of months. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I also put a link to another couple of videos here in YouTube. You should check those out as well to learn more about Japanese cooking. And if you want to learn more, Google Bite My Bun Panko to find us. Also, I'll put the link to, uh, to the article right here below in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.